Welcome back guys to another episode right here at Central Oregon Shenanigans. Before we get started, please hit that like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and um, comments they do go down below. It just helps with algorithms and helps boost our channel on YouTube. I know I'm a broken record every time I say it, but it really does help. So on the right here, we have our brand new, to me, 2003 7.3 f350 power stroke diesel um it is an xlt model it's very new to to me uh this i've only owned it for a couple days now this truck is my dream truck but this truck is also my dream truck so this is a 1997 ford 73 f350 power stroke diesel xl model xlt model that doesn't really matter but these two trucks even though they're both seven threes are very different everybody has mixed reviews if a super duty is better or an obs is better now i've owned three obs seven three pick uh seven three power strokes i've owned two 97s and I've owned one 96 and I actually owned a 94 or no 93 sorry IDI there's miles on it both uh, this one needs some things this one needs some things but apples to apples I'm gonna tell you the biggest thing what's wrong with the OBS and what's we're gonna go through we're gonna go through this whole video and we're gonna talk about in my opinion which one's better now under the hood of this one Let's, let's pop the hood. All righty, guys. So this 7.3 is a 215 horsepower. Um, I forget the foot pounds of torque, but it is less out of the box, out of the factory, is less horsepower and torque than the Super Duties. It is non-intercooled. It's got a Garrett, smaller Garrett turbo than the Super Duties. The injectors are smaller than the Super Duties. I'll give the OBS credit here. Without the intercooling pipes and the bigger engine bay that the OBS has, it's easier to get to your turbo and it's easier to get to things. Now, when you're changing injectors, this valve cover is tricky to get off and it's really hard to get the last injector out without undoing your engine mount and rocking your engine to get that injector out. Other than that, um, maintenance wise under the hood of the OBS's is pretty easy to work on until you get into putting intercooling pipes up here and um, not a big fan of the window wash box under the hood of the OBS it's and this one's actually broken but it's super teeny you can see the size of my hand here um, but yeah under the hood you know it'll get the job done for you it's gonna tow 10,000 pounds it's not gonna like it but it'll do it Alrighty, so under the hood of the 03 Super Duty, it's filthy. I haven't had the time to uh, wash this one yet. But as you can see, there's more packed under here. And the engine's underneath your cowling here. It's got a smaller engine bay to accept, you know, to get to things. You've got intercooling pipes because this is intercooled, bigger turbo. All in all, it's a harder, it's harder to work on this truck. And the fact of the matter is, they were trying to get the in, the front of the hoods a little bit smaller. Um, I tried to park these identical to one another to kind of get that on camera, but I can't really show that. It's it's hard. But uh, yeah, so 207. So this was the the the, the little hidden gem. This is an 03. Uh, it was built in September of. 02 so it's an 03 and it's the last year before the impact split year they went into uh, six liters in 03 um this is a 275 horsepower so we're getting closer to 300 horse out of this model um bigger injectors bigger turbo intercooling timing all that stuff's different um Braking system. I've, I got to go back onto the OBS real quick. I want to show you guys something. So braking systems different. This is a hydro boost. So basically it uses the power steering pump to hydraulically run the brakes versus a air pump 
that runs the vacuum that runs the brakes. I don't like this setup. It tends to go out once every couple of years versus I doubt anything has been maintained in 300,000 on the Hydro Boost. Could be wrong. I don't, I haven't owned this truck for a long time, but my opinion, that's probably the original Hydro Boost on here. So under the hood of these, it's still not as difficult as a six liter because we've got one of those here. Try working on this. I've worked on one of these before and you can see the six liter is packed in there tight. All right, so enough under the hood of these things. Let's go to the front axles. Now, being an F350, I know that's a Dana 60 under the front of that one. These also came with the Dana 55 straight axle, which was better than the 250s like Papa's truck that had a scissor Dana 55, Dana 60. Um, that was had the you know the F150 pivot bushings and they were still leaf sprung, but they wore tires funny you had to maintain them ride quality in my opinion did not give you anything versus a solid axle up front this is a dana 60 um with bearings actual greased bearings on the outside with big hubs and a mechanical uh, uh mechanical locking hub uh over on the super duty we have well, yeah, disc brakes too, disc brakes over here. But we also have a Dana 60 axle with a smaller sealed wheel bearing in here. These tend to go out a lot. They tend to um, be very maintenance prone to replacement um, more than if you had a grease bearing like on the OBSs. Um, and then you've got this cheap auto hub slash manual hub and the auto hubs never seem to work right so then you got to order a kit and go warren this one hasn't been done yet so it's something that's on my to-do list back axle both of these trucks have sterling 1025s left to right here um, the obs has drum super duty has disc way better for towing stop you know stopping trailers um you put your foot on the brake on this one and it takes a lot longer to stop than this one rear towing packages i don't have an original tow package on this so i can't really go apples to apples what i know on from papa's truck though is they're pretty comparable um quality built wise on both trucks um got your seven pin Th these both don't have stock beds on them but from my my memory versus super duty versus the the obs they're about the same with the plug location and everything so mechanically ford struggled with the automatics this has an automatic this is a five speed now i've owned a super duty with the six speed in it as well and i'll tell you what i would take going off of what the six i had a 606 speed which is the same as a seven liter six speed I would take that six speed over the five speed any day of the week. The ZF5 is not a bad transmission at all. Don't get me wrong. But the ZF6 that came in the Super Duties, by far a better transmission for towing, especially when you have a very heavy load. Uh, the gears are just, they're, they grab in the right spots. Let's just put that way. With 410 gears is what I had in that truck. It's not here. This is an automatic. This is actually a 373 gear ratio truck automatic that one's a 410 so body wise let's talk body and this is my personal opinion on body you guys can all say whatever they both are phenomenal job ford did a phenomenal job on the super duty inside versus the obs side i really can't choose a favorite um there's body lines on this i like versus that and there's stuff on that that i like versus it, it, it's just apples to it's kind of apples to apples to me the one thing i do like about the super duty body style is the mirrors and the application of mirrors that have the towing mirrors that slide in and out this one is broken but um, it does telescope in and out versus this and if you wanted a towing mirror you had a metal tripod that stuck out um so yeah and then the, i've seen the wing window deletes which look just ugly to me 
So body wise, I mean, apples to apples. It's it's your own preference, really. Um, interior. Now, interior. The this is very dirty. I'm gonna clean this up. This is like I said, I've only owned it, owned it a couple days, and I've got a upholstery cleaning business, so this is gonna clean up really nice. And then I've got to fix this seat. But the door panels, by far, are better on the Super Duties. The interior seats are way more comfortable and just they've got a better built up side portion here. It just supports you a lot better when you're driving these, especially doing a long haul. Um, gauge cluster um, is very easy to read in both trucks and I'll show you the OBS here in a minute. Uh, dash, apples to apples, I'm styling on it, functionality is about the same. But interior wise, I'd give the win to the Super Duty, by far my favorite. But I still like the OBS, don't get me wrong. The OBS, the seats don't match because this used to have a bench seat, which was god awfully uncomfortable. So that's when I found these seats out of the $300 truck, if you guys remember that. Ugh, Dash. You know, it's it's usable. It's clear. You can read it clearly, just like the Super Duty. Um, dash is easy to use. Location of everything is in the same place. You know, Ford never changed anything except for a little bit of styling on the dash. And I like this dash just as much as I like the Super Duty dash. So, kind of tied. Uh, Super Duties normally don't come with a manual stick transfer case. I've seen a few of them, they're out there, but they went to, um, you know, a button on the dash, like the knobs of this, uh, of the heater controls right here. And Power Strokes never got that. And you quote me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen a 96 or a 97 automatic or manual with a push button because they had push buttons in the 90s instead of an actual switch. I've seen it in the F-150s, but I've never seen it in the actual Power Strokes. Uh, center console is a bit small compared to the Super Duty. So yeah, uh, interior, um, I'm still giving the win over to the Super Duty. The main functionality and quality of the interior on the Super Duty is way better. Um, these doors were prone, prone to breaking, which isn't really an interior. It's more of a body thing. Uh, door handles would break off. Uh, the power windows and door locks, though were better in the OBS than the Super Duty. Uh, this seat is so uncomfortable. I mean, it's still, this is not a broke down seat. It's a decent quality CU seat that I found for this, but it's definitely not as comfortable as the Super Duty. But um, overall, Super Duty for the win on the interior for just comfort and, oh, I didn't check the decimals because it's not fair because that has an exhaust system and this doesn't. But just from my per, per my personal experience with these trucks, these are a lot louder. There's a lot less um, sound deadening maybe that Ford didn't use. I don't know if that's even a thing, but the Super Duties definitely have a quieter, quieter ride down the road. All right, so we've talked a lot about these trucks so far. Fuel capacity. Now, this is the one thing that the OBS really, it's str I struggle with. A lot of guys like it. I don't like it, um, is dual tanks. There's one here, and there's one here, <laughs> and there's a switch on the dash that goes from either tank, and a lot of people say that they have problems with that actuator on the frame going out. So the fuel system on this is stupid. I think they should have went with one tank, like the Super Duties, and... Because at the end of the day, the both these long beds hold about the same amount of fuel. It's right close to 40 gallons of fuel. So there's no benefit of having a second tank other than on a gas truck, if these were gas powered, if the fuel pump were to go out in this, you're done. In a gas powered one of these OBSs, which if you're on the rear tank and you got fuel in the front tank and the rear tank's fuel pump went out, you could switch it over and you're good to go. And I've done that before on one of these i have a i have a half ton f-150 aka eddie um so fuel systems also these went to a uh on on frame electric fuel pump versus a mechanical pump 
you know, this didn't produce as much fuel pressure as this. So when you got messing with the tuner, these were fine. These would run out of fuel and starve. So now it comes down to, I guess, personal preference. I've towed a lot of weight with that truck. I just got done today towing a lot of weight with this truck. I've owned multiple of these trucks. I've owned a V10s. I've owned Power Strokes, 7, 3, and 6 liter. At the end of the day, my personal preference is a Super Duty over the OBS for towing. Riding around town, Super Duty. But there's just something about the OBS looking at it. It just looks cool. <laughs> but so does the Super Duty. But the reason... I'm making this video is I'm very torn on my new purchase of a Super Duty and I want to keep my 97 it's it's not practical at all I just don't know which one I like better I know for towing I like the Super Duty but I love the OBS too I leave it in the comments down below guys of what your preference is if you own both of these trucks which one would you rather have would you rather have the Super Duty 7.3 or would you rather have the OBS 7.3? My wife's going to kill me, but I don't think I want to get rid of the OBS. And I don't want to get rid of the Super Duty. I've got a truck problem. Catch you next time here on Central Oregon Shenanigans, guys. Good night.